I'm Angela Musalem, Public Information Officer for the Placer County Sheriff's Office. Over the past few weeks, Marine 6 deputies here in Lake Tahoe have repeatedly noticed the same boating violations. Well, we're out here today on Marine 6 taking a ride and showing you what those violations are and how they have a bigger impact on public safety than you think. Lake Tahoe draws in visitors from around Placer County and all around the world. But according to Marine 6 Sheriff's deputies, many who navigate the lake are doing it safely. Have you shown the Sheriff's Office, we're stopping today because we don't have a life jacket on there. Our most common violation that we see at least a few times every shift are folks out here on paddle boards without a PFD or personal flotation device. This paddle boarder was given a stern warning for not having a life vest. Now, if you're 12 and under, you're required to have a life vest on whether you're on a paddle board or a boat. Keep in mind, all jet skiers must wear a life vest, no exceptions. Another common and potentially deadly mistake Deputy Braden Shaw sees on the lake is transom riding or riding on the back of a boat. You can get carbon monoxide poisoning from riding on the rear of the boat. So the fumes from the engine, if you're sitting on that transom, can be deadly. Shaw adds transom riders are more likely to fall off a boat and could get injured by the motor blades. These blue lights are just like red and blue lights that you see police cars or law enforcement vehicles on the roadway with. You are required to avoid the area or come to a slow, safe speed. This is the third most common violation on Lake Tahoe. Shaw says he and his crew make more than 20 stops each week, sending many back to shore for not following the rules. They're also handing out this booklet, similar to the California Driver's Handbook, but for boating. Please educate yourself. This is a very dynamic lake and we want everybody to enjoy this lake in a fun and safe manner. Now, if you're under 25, you'll need a California boater card like this one if you plan to operate a boat on the water. That's the rule for this year. And by 2025, every single boat operator, regardless of age, is required to carry one. For more information on how you can apply for a California boater card, head to our Facebook page.